this is a home that references some of the typical high felt vernacular materials and proportions. The home is perched in a country style lakeside estate. The winding country roads weave between the mature trees, guiding you to a beautiful country style farmhouse. My name is Vitu Melam Konyani, and welcome back to Vitu Melam Konyani Studio. Today we bring you the country farmhouse. The home is located in Water Lake Farm Estate in the east of Pretoria. This estate is equestrian themed with horses and bug roaming the green pastures. A large scenic lake serves as the main attraction of this area, with various wildlife and fauna adding to the landscape. The home is 374 square meters in size, built across one floor on a 998 square meter plot. It has four bedrooms, four bathrooms and a two-car garage. Materials such as red brick, natural stone, corrugated roofing and steel supports are all used to portray the farm style aesthetic. The home has gable end roofing with grand painted trusses exposed on the entry. The home is very rustic in design, blending well into the estate. The charcoal colour scheme does well to modernise the natural elements incorporated into the design. You enter the home through beautiful solid wood doors with glass framing it, lighting the interior of the space. You are greeted to a large entertainment hall comprising of main living spaces. The glass walls mean you are spoiled by views right into the backyard from any spot. The space is complemented by high ceilings with exposed wood trusses painted white to soften up the space. The living room has a large red brick framing the TV area. Eclectic modern sofas are accompanied by a natural wood coffee table and a TV console. Adjacent to it is a red brick clad fireplace for the winters. A doorway leads to the media room overlooking the side yard. The dining hall leads to the country style kitchen fit with charcoal shaker cabinets, a beautiful courtside stone paired with more natural wood highlights. Standout elements are a large farmhouse sink with a unique design and a large floating shelf to show off more designer elements. Behind the kitchen is a barn door that leads to the scullery where you can hide all the dishes when entertaining. The home splits into two wings, with the right wing beginning with the powder room. The powder room has a detailed stone basin with polished brass fixtures and a beautiful rope pendant hanging from the ceiling. It sits on a custom steel and wood vanity made specially to support the heavy stone. Further along the hallway, you find a clever reading bench overlooking the courtyard of the home. This leads to the primary bedroom, a simple yet elegant space furnished very cleverly. Automated curtains mean you can wake up to the best views every morning. A large walk-in dresser complements the room, leading to a truly impressive spa-like bathroom. The room is anchored by a large freestanding bathtub situated in front of a large window letting light in. It is complemented by more brass fixtures matching those of an equally grand double vanity. The freestanding basins are accompanied by two Edison bulb hanging pendants. A large open shower with mosaic flooring finishes off the beautiful space. The left wing of the home has a large hallway with the garage and study being the first rooms. 
you then get to a sliding barn door that opens to a laundry room. The room has grey cabinetry with wood floating shelves to match. The two kids' bedrooms are also located in this area, identical in size and layout. They have large windows, built-in cupboards and well-fitted bathrooms. The last room in this home is the guest bedroom. It has a large built-in cupboard as well as a grand in-suite bathroom. It opens up to the backyard of the home like the main bedroom, with sounds of the water in the background. The home creates a private living space with pool and garden, using a typical lean-to stoop connecting the main living space. A large folding door opens up to the stone-clad bright area, complemented by a wet bar. The side yard also includes a pool for the summers and a sitting area next to it. The materials found on the outside are also used in the interior, giving the home a very grounded feel with its surroundings, tying in with the exterior. Narrower and higher volumes give this home its typical farm proportions. For more details about the architects, please see the description below.